Hi there. You want to talk about inviting? Welcome to the Bella Vista. Bella Vista means beautiful view, and everything in this home is beautiful, from the outside to the brick facade, the beautiful landscaping, and of course, the view upstairs. Come on in and I'll show you. Welcome. Thank you. It's so nice to be here. Oh, thank you. Brad Olinger is the builder and uh, owner of Sterling Homes. So this is, again, so unique for Homerama 2020, the Bella Vista. Oh, it's a great house. Um, you know, a lot of the comments we're getting, it feels more like a traditional house. Um, the buyers here are empty nesters, and we just really wanted the house to feel cozy and traditional fit their wants and needs. 3,900 square feet, right? Um, it's roughly, uh, but we did end up finishing some of the basement that wasn't on the original plan. So I'd say 41, 4,200 square feet, you start counting the outside stuff, you're uh, growing to 5,000 square feet. What are some of the unique features of this home? It, it's just very cozy. You walk in the front door and you've got your living room, your kitchen, your dining room. You've got an awesome outdoor entertainment area that you can sit out there pretty much 10 months out of the year with the heaters that we put in. So ceiling heaters, three actually spaces uniquely mm -hmm. um, designed for outdoor living. That's so nice and of course making the best use of the beautiful view of downtown Cincinnati. Oh, it's gorgeous. You know, having a lower level and three floors above, um, we did put an elevator in the home. Um, it's just nice to be able to have that as a feature. Mm -hmm. But overall, we, we are just so excited for this home. Will you take us around? Yeah, let's go. Okay. We have a wonderful outdoor indoor area here. You've got the TV, you got the retractable screens, it's just very inviting. For somebody that likes to be outdoors as much as possible, it's just a very inviting room. Oh, hey, Amy. Hi, how are you? Good. This is Amy Holt with Designs of Madison. Another beautiful design here, Amy. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about the Bella Vista's design and some of your favorite features. So one of my favorite rooms in the house is the kitchen. I love how we combined the white perimeter and the gray island along with the gold hardware, but my favorite feature is actually the refrigerator and pantry wall. You know, sometimes it's hard to mask a refrigerator, but I think we came up with a good detail, and when you open this door, you have a walk-in pantry. Oh, every person's just dream pantry right there, and you can hide all the messy stuff. Right. That's awesome. So tell me if anyone wants to work with you in Designs and Madison for some interior design inspiration, where should they go? Designsonmadison.com. There you go. Thanks so much, Amy. Thank you. Let's move on. Well, we've got a wonderful dining room here. It's not like your traditional dining room. It's, it's intricate with your kitchen, your living room, and then we have this wonderful walk-up wet bar that really shows off the space, and you've got a very inviting round table. Here you'll find a bedroom with an ensuite bathroom closet. As you walk down the room here, you've got your laundry room, and then you walk into this beautiful master suite with his and her closets, a bedroom that features the great views, and a bathroom that is really one of my favorite bathrooms we've ever done. And this shower, I, I don't know, anybody should die for this shower. It's just a wonderful feature in this home. Brad, I love this uh, wall behind the headboard. It's just the contrast is really unique. Yeah, the detail on the wall, the molding, and the change in color just really invite you into the room. Yet, I've noticed a trend with master bedrooms. They're just not as big as they used to be. What is, what's going on? Yeah, a lot of customers, probably 90% of our customers, they realize that they don't need the big master. They're really spending all their square footage in their bathrooms and their closets because they find they spend a lot more time there than they're just sleeping in the master. Makes sense to me. Yes. In the basement you see here, it was a little mid-construction and the homeowners decided they wanted an exercise room. But probably one of my favorites in the lower level is this garage and the cabinets. They just did a wonderful job. Brad, this upstairs is so unique. It's just cozy. Yeah, it's, it's 
it's a great place. And we were able to incorporate the, the third floor here in the attic trusses. You still get the outdoor balcony with your great views, a bedroom, and then, you know, how great is this space up here with the wet bar, the couch, the TV. It really turned out fabulous. I think you've really shown us that Sterling Homes is such a flexible builder and you can really work with anyone and any budget, any type of home that they want. Mm -hmm. If anyone wants more information about Sterling, where should they go? SterlingHomesCincinnati.com. All right, Brad Olinger, builder and owner, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. All right, and if you want more information about Homerama or the Home Builders Association of Greater Cincinnati, go to CincyBuilders.com.